Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to configure an application load balancer to forward the traffic to an EC2 instance. Okay. So I have a website which is running on my EC2 instance and I'm currently accessing it on my, uh, like using the public IP address of my EC2 instance. Okay. So if I want to configure a load balancer and uh, I want that load balancer to route the traffic to this uh, EC2 instance. So let's see how to do that. Okay, so firstly to configure load balancer, let's go to this uh, EC2 console and uh, here click on load balancers and click on create load balancer here and we are going to create an application load balancer. So click on create and let's call this as my web app uh, ALB and it's going to be internet facing and IP address type is IPv4. So default VPC and you need to select at least uh, two availability zones and uh, make sure that your target uh, is in the availability zone that you are selecting here okay in my case my target is an ec2 instance which is in the same availability zone okay so yep once you are done that uh, the next thing that we need to configure is a security group so let's click create a security group for this and let's call this uh, web app alb sd and uh, hello let's give some de description Okay, uh, so let me add an inbound rule. So for now, I'm just going to allow all traffic from everywhere and outbound rule as well the same. And click on security group. Okay, so let's attach the security group to this ALB. Let's select the one. Okay, yeah, this is the one. Let's remove this default. And the next important thing is this listeners and routing. Okay. So uh, listener is basically like on which port they want to uh, listen um, when basically people try to access using an HTTP uh, for the CLB. Um, what does it need to do? Where, where does it need to forward that traffic to? Okay, for us, it needs to forward the traffic to an EC2 instance. Okay, so let's create a target group for that. So target group is basically the resources where that ALB will forward the traffic to. So for us, it's an EC2 instance. So let's create select instances and target group name let's call it uh, web app uh, target group and the protocol is http ipv4 it's fine and health check so basically how the, how can the you know load balancer ping that uh, target and uh, do a health check so it's going to be http and uh, advanced health check settings so basically healthy threshold so number of uh, number of health, like successful health checks before uh, the target will be considered as healthy and similarly for unhealthy as well and the timeout uh, basically like if it if the target doesn't respond within this time it will consider it as a failed health check and uh, this is the interval in which it keeps checking for the health of the target okay so let's click on next here and uh, we need to add the instances to this target group so i have only one instance to be added so i'll select that and uh, the port is basically the port in which your application is running in the target so it's 80 for me because include as pending below and click on create target group okay so now this target group is created so let's add this target group as the target here okay so let's select this and so we'll leave all other options as default and click on create load balancer okay so this will take a uh, minute or two to get provisioned so let's wait for that and test it okay uh, so now the load balancer is provisioned and it is in active state let's check the target group uh, so now the target is healthy as well okay so if you uh, like i mean if this uh, health check fails and it has uh, in a unhealthy state there could be many reasons for that one common reason is yeah the ec2 instance security group uh, might not be allowing the traffic from the load balancer so make sure that the ec2 uh, like security group of your ec2 instance allows the traffic so here i've just allowed it from everywhere i mean i can just edit and uh, let me just do that right away let me delete this allow from anywhere and let's allow it only from the security group of the ec2 like the alb okay save roads okay so yep so if the health check fails this is one of the most common reasons so make sure that a security group of your ec2 instance uh, is configured in such a way that it allows the inbound traffic like from the uh, security group of the load balancer okay so now let's check if you are able to access this uh, website from this load balancer so to do that copy this uh, dns name 
and paste it in your browser. And uh, yep, so we are able to access this uh, website uh, from the load balancer. So however, uh, there is one problem, like we are seeing this not secure uh, pop-up here. Uh, so this could like, I mean, scare your users away from accessing your website. So let's see how to fix this one. So to fix this, let's go back to the load balancer here and add a listener. So like, I mean, if someone tried to actually hit, let's see what happens when they hit HTTPS URL. So I think this should ideally uh, time out. So yeah, if you see it's taking a long time to load, it will time out. Okay. So since we have not configured the rule for uh, port HTTPS port, so we have only configured for HTTP port. So let's do uh, that as well. So protocol will be HTTPS and the default for port is 443 and uh, action will be forward to target group and the target group will be the same. And here uh, we need to add an SSL certificate. So if we are making this uh, HTTPS, we need to add an SSL certificate. So let's request a certificate for this. Um, let's request a certificate in AWS Certificate Manager. Click on next. So the domain name. So you need to give a domain name for this. Like, I mean, uh, I have a domain name which is hosted on Route 53. So if you have your domain outside as well, you can get that and get a certificate for that. And uh, validation method, I'm going to do a DNS validation. You can also do an email validation also. So it will send uh, an email to verify that you are the owner of this domain so that the certificate can be issued. So click on request and it is requested and it says pending validation. So to, since uh, my domain is hosted in Route 53 itself, I can uh, validate it by clicking on this create records in Route 53 here and click on create records. Okay, so this should automatically validate my uh, domain and uh, make this status as successful. Okay, so let's give it a moment to uh, complete this validation. Okay, so it's done and it says it has issued. Okay, so next thing that we need to do is we need to, let me refresh this and select the certificate that we just uh, requested and click on add okay so now we have configured uh, like what happens when someone tries to access it uh, from https okay so uh, another thing that i want to do here is i want to uh, like instead of people accessing uh, from an you know this dns name which is not very uh, you know user friendly i want people to access my website from this domain itself okay so how to do that in this hosted zone, click on create record and select this alias and route traffic to an application load balancer and the chose region. Uh, going to select US East and the load balancer. Okay, click on create records. So now what I'm saying is like, I mean, when people access this uh, URL, it will route the traffic to this application load balancer and the load balancer will in turn route the traffic to this EC2 instance. Okay, so now let's try to access our website uh, from this URL. Yes, we are able to access the website from this URL. Okay, and we are also uh, seeing that the connection is secure now and the, so that not secure uh, pop-up is gone. Okay, so uh, that's how you can uh, host your website on AWS EC2 and you can uh, like uh, reveal it through your custom domain uh, that you host and you can also make the website secure in by like I mean creating a certificate SSL certificate and attaching it to it okay so uh, I hope you found this video helpful uh, if you did please do like this video and also subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video